go, that's right, this film actually exists. I'm talking about Scooby-Doo WrestleMania Mystery. I'd never really heard of this film until a short time ago and uh, I couldn't believe what I was actually seeing, but yes, and it's true. There's actually a Scooby-Doo crossover with uh, the kind of WrestleMania and wrestling superstars. And you shouldn't be too surprised. If you kind of look back at obviously the Scooby-Doo franchise, you know, he's met the sort of Harlem uh, Globetrotters and things like that. So I guess it's only a, a natural evolution. So this is going to be a very hard film to kind of try and be critical about, because it's obviously made for a kind of specific audience. And I don't think it's going to appeal to people who are really outside of that. So let me tell you, first of all, about the, the kind of the plot here. And the, the plot really centers around, obviously, as, you, as you'd expect, Scooby and Shaggy. And they win a kind of a video game competition, a WWE video game competition that kind of lets them get sort of free access into WWE City. That's right, this whole city of WWE. And then they meet all the superstars and things like that. But it just so happens that WWE City is actually being terrorised by this kind of demon bear. And it's kind of this great big sort of orange ferocious bear looking thing of like a skull face. It's quite a good design actually, I have to say. I did quite like the design. And, you know, obviously I should expect the Scooby-Doo mystery, of course, the, there's a kind of, uh, you know, who, who, is, who is it really, kind of a mystery behind it all. And then we have hijinks involving, you know, wrestling matches and all the sort of different superstars that you'll sort of see crop up. And the superstars that I mean, I'll sort of touch on these. So, you know, WWE or WWF as it used to be known, it's got, you know, it's, it's a long history of having these sort of colourful characters and kind of uh, these competitors are kind of larger than life. And it's almost... I mean, even, even that is obviously over-exaggerated in, in what we see in the actual wrestling. And this, again, is almost, you know, a, a, you know, a whole leap on from that. So you've kind of got a very kind of characterised versions of the actual sort of WWE characters. Um, but it's quite fun. You've kind of got, you've got Kane, you've got um, The Miz, you've got uh, John Cena, Vince McMahon, who I actually think he looks scarily actually quite accurate to what he actually looks like, which I thought was quite good. Uh, I was surprised they didn't go with The Undertaker, I have to say. Um, you know, I kind of used to watch WWE. I'm not a huge fan these days, to be honest. But I'm surprised that he, he would be the one who I would just assume would be kind of the most ripe to go in a kind of a, a Scooby-Doo film. Uh, just because, obviously, he has this kind of supernatural thing. And, obviously, he's kind of a staple of WrestleMania as well. So I'm very surprised why he's not there. You have a kind of few... Retro face, he's got Silent Slaughter in there. So there's, there's quite a few different um, sort of wrestling characters. Uh, I'll talk briefly about the kind of the actual animation style. Uh, I actually quite like this. So the Scooby Doo design hasn't really changed all that much uh, from when I was a, a young lad. And they've kind of just sort of cleaned it up and kind of modernised it. But I have to say, I did quite like the kind of stylized uh, animation and art style that it's got. Um, it has changed obviously somewhat over the years and and obviously it looks uh, you know, a lot more modern now, but nonetheless, I, I thought actually quite like the style of it. And it's very kind of, you know, thick borders around the kind of the characters and stuff like that. They do kind of pop and, um, you know, it's, it's good, good to look at, especially if you're, a, I think if you're a youngster, you know, it's very kind of, uh, it's obviously aimed for that kind of audience. Uh, now, what I didn't realize was kind of how different Scooby-Doo is, is can he, can he always talk now? It's, uh, I never really remember him doing so. He's kind of changed his character a little bit as well. He's a bit more, he's a bit more sort of sentient, if that makes sense. Which you know, I was surprised at because I, I hadn't seen it before. But there you go. I digress. Now, um, you know, it's like I said, this is a difficult film to actually review because the cynic in me really thinks this is just the marketing and advert for for kind of young kids to try and get them into to WWE. It's, it's co-produced between uh, Warner Brothers and, um, and and WWE Entertainment itself. Uh, so, you know, there is that kind of, is this just an advert for, for WWE itself and kind of to, to try and get this kind of, uh, uh, you know, this, this newer audience involved in it, I suppose, and kind of get them kind of growing up with this, uh, this kind of brand. But there you go. It probably is, let's be honest. It is, but it is what it is. It, overall, actually, it was, despite its obviously overall cheesiness and it's very very campy and there is kind of a bit of comedy for uh, for adults in there for example there's kind of this running joke where basically all the kind of the scooby-doo characters and the, uh, 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 kind of joke themselves about how they kind never, of never change their their outfits and stuff like that which i found was quite funny and kind of uh, daphne's got to have this sort of 
massive crush on John Cena, which I also found was quite was quite fun. Uh, but it kind of wears its wears itself out a little bit. I think it, I think the running time is, is you know roughly at ninety minutes or so, and I think it probably would have been better as a kind of sixty minute special because it was kind of getting a bit tiring watching this and uh, of going on for so long really. And I thought it would have been better to kind of you know just make it a little bit more concise because I just I just thought it could have could have been a lot shorter to be honest, and it would have held sort of held your attention a little bit more. I think. Uh, this kind of story, these very sort of shallow sort of characters, sorry WWE fans, uh, really don't relate to a kind of hour and a half movie, especially when it's kind of obviously oversimplified and kind of childlike. But that's obviously, like I say, who the, who the movie's aimed for. And I think kids, if they kind of like WWE, but, you know, are maybe a little bit young for it, perhaps, this is going to be a good thing for them. It's kind of a fun movie. There's the, it does make me smile. Um, I had to quite a good fun with it, but apart from, as I say, I just think it drags and if you can kind of get over the whole, the obviously cynical side of it, trying to kind of uh, just really promote WWE itself. But it's a fun film. I think the graphics are good. The animation is good. Uh, the, the kind of likeness of some of the characters is, is, good, is kind of fun. I really did like Kane, I have to say. that He was a great, uh, a great uh, sort of depiction of, of what the actual character's like. So I want to give this... Uh, this film a, a, a 6.5 out of 10, but it's really only going to be if you like either WWE or Scooby Doo, or just kind of your, you know, maybe if you want to get it for a younger person and you just kind of want a, a fun animated movie, that's kind of the thing. So, but if you just maybe are not really interested in this, it's obviously not going to be the film for you. Let's be honest, you're not going to be interested in this. It's very ridiculous, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of crass. There you go. I'm not going to convince you. If you've, you've already decided if you're going to this movie or not. So for what it is and for, for and, and for the audience that I think it's going to go for, I think they'll kind of enjoy it because it, it does have sort of fun elements. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Random film. What do you think of it? Leave me a comment. I'll look forward to you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>